So uh, my, my wife, Leslie, and I uh, made one of our largest uh, ever uh, contributions to this effort, uh, and I wanted to talk just for a moment about why. The, there are two reasons. One is obvious, and that is that we care deeply about conservation in this area, and our view is that the, that the agenda is uh, probably uh, the most effective effort that we have seen to, to drive uh, conservation, sustainability, and vitality in our region. But the second, the second reason is somewhat less obvious, and, it, and, and that is the way in which the agenda re represents uh, the political future for our region. So we live, in a, we live in an age of tremendous political polarization. I don't need to tell you that. And certainly one of the things that polarizes us most is the role of government in society. And, you know, on the one extreme, you have what you might call the you send us your tax dollars and we'll create a program to solve all your problems theory of government. And I think that many reasonable people are concluding that that doesn't work quite as well as we might hope. And on the other extreme, we have the just get rid of government and somehow it'll all work out theory of government. And they're running that experiment in Somalia and some other places around the world. And I think, <laughs> I think, I think uh, you can also conclude in a reasonable way that that approach doesn't, doesn't work very well. And I submit to you that the Cascade Agenda is a third approach. The Cascade Agenda, in a, in a nonpartisan way, merges conservation interests and business interests, the public sector and the private sector, our interest in the near term with our interest in the far term. And, and I submit to you that this approach to self-government represents the best approach for a modern democratic community to solve their problems and to meet their challenges. And so when we, when we support the Cascade Agenda, we get two things of immeasurable importance. We get, you know, to conserve our landscapes and to, and to ensure that our region is vital and livable in the future. But we also, you know, at least in my, in, in my, in my opinion, innovate in a way which le leads us to a new way to organize civic society. The first is what we're here to celebrate today. The second may turn out to be more historically important. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here this morning and, and supporting the ongoing efforts of the CLC. And thank you in particular for those, those of you who did support our targeted effort to raise $20 million for the Cascade Agenda. That $20 million effort has laid the, found has laid the groundwork for a movement that we believe will 